Andy, nil nil draw at Hull. Um, are you disappointed? Or happy with the result? No, disappointed, frustrated. Um, just said to the girls there, listen, the pressure's not on them as players. It's the pressure's on um, me as a manager and and me and my staff, and um, and that's just the way it is. It's, it's, the league table doesn't lie. At the minute, we're uh, one of the third worst teams in the league, and hopefully we can get out of it sooner rather than later because uh, it's not nice to see. It's not nice to uh, to be in that predicament at the minute. And obviously, we'll start with the positive. Uh, first clean sheet of the season. We did look pretty sturdy at the back. You've, you've changed ever so slightly at the back in the formation. Looked good last week as well. Um, how much of a difference has Courtney Stewart made? Oh, massive. I can't uh, I can't probably say um, as enough positives about her. And uh, Abby Robson as well coming in like a breath of fresh air. You know, that uh, these two players uh, alongside... Um, uh, Abby Towers, it's just brilliant. It's just given us a, uh, at least a life to understand that we're we are solid at the back. We can defend properly as a group, individually and collectively, and um, and it gives us a little bit more going forward uh, to create more chances. Uh, I, we did create a few more chances today, but it just wasn't to be that we didn't get the three points. Plenty of chances, yeah. Like you say, we did create a few, and it just at points, just felt like it was never going to go in. Is that a frustrating thing, or can you take positives from that? The fact that we are creating those chances and we're, we're inches away from winning the game today, really. I'd be more concerned if we weren't creating. Um, I think it's really, really disappointing that we didn't win the game, but um, we're creating chances. Uh, listen, there's games that I've played in my career, managed in my career, that we could still be playing till 7 o'clock and we wouldn't score. And it's just part of football. It happens to every club. It happens to the top clubs in our division and, 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 and above. So sometimes you just got to take it on the chin and, uh, and come back stronger. And we've got games coming up that are really important. We class this one as important as well as the point on the board. would like it to be three. Got a game next against Sheffield, looking like a big game, but it's all about what we do. Other people might look at other results, but it's all about what we do going forward, isn't it? Ah, listen, the, the league table doesn't lie, but it's all in our hands. Um, we win, we win as many games as we can this uh, for the rest of the season, then we'll be, we'll stay up. And um, the Sheffield game, they'll see it as a winnable game and an opportunity for them. But like for us, it'll be a fight, it'll be a battle like today was, and uh, and hopefully we come out on top. And I don't want to single anyone out, but um, we talked about Jess, Whitt uh, Jess Whittaker, sort of off air. She's coming to the team the past few weeks. Great again today alongside her. You mentioned that be Robson before. How much of a benefit is the, the young players coming through and being able to hold their own on you know, first team football? I think we have to remind ourselves sometimes that she's 16 years old. Um, and I think I forget that when you're, when you're picking teams and you put her in and the pressure on people's shoulders with games that we, we're playing in um, high profile, trying to stay up and... Her performance today was phenomenal. Her, her attitude, her effort, her desire, her commitment to tackling, her, her, her skills on the ball, her, her play, her listening, her wanting to learn and improve as a player. Um, not just her, there's, there's other players. and you know, I mean, We've got a really, really good change room there um, today and it's really, really energising that we can that we can get out of it. You know, we've, got, we've got 16 disappointed people in there um, and, and the staff included, but um, we want to get there. We want to we do it sooner rather than later, but if it happens last game of the season and the last minute of... Of the of the of the season to stay up, then so be it. Because that's the the objective hasn't changed. Regardless of what's happened today, uh, we we'll still keep on fighting. Awesome, Andy. It's been a pleasure. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Cheers.